Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Thompson and I'm one of the biology teachers here in Lusk Community College. I'm going to be telling you about the subject biology for Leaving Cert and why you might decide to pick it. So let's look at the overview of biology at Leaving Cert first um, and then we'll look at it in more detail in terms of the structure of the subject, how it's assessed, uh, some student feedback and then looking forward to courses that you might pick after school. So biology is the study of life and for junior cycle science uh, students begin to gain an understanding of uh, themselves and the natural world in which they live. The Leaving Cert course uses uh, practical activities and investigations to develop those skills and knowledge. Biology has a really really wide scope and it's very varied and it covers uh, the traditional study of plants and animals and also more modern areas like molecular biology and biotechnology. There's uh, an exam, a terminal exam at the end of uh, the course which is 100% of the marks go for that and so there's, but there's lots of theory in that and then also uh, mandatory experiments which are tested in the exam. There's three parts in the, in the exam, section A, B and C. Section B there you can see is completely um, devoted to those experiment questions. Section A, short answers. Section C, long essay style answers. So how is the course structured itself? So there's three units. The first one, the study of life. This is where we study ecology and food science. Ecology uh, being the interactions between organisms and between organisms and their environment. The second unit is the cell where we look at the basic unit of life. Uh, there's, within this there's genetics, photosynthesis, respiration and we look at enzymes as well as some other things. Finally unit three, the organism. So this is the study of body systems, um, plant biology and microbiology. Lots of students find this the most interesting because it's uh, relatable as there's human biology um, in here. Just looking again at assessment, it's 100% the final exam. There are 22 mandatory experiments which must be written up and can be inspected, but the marks go for the exam at the end. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of um, work that needs to go in in preparing for this exam. Let's have a look at some student feedback. The feedback in general is that biology is really interesting. Students find that uh, the content is, is relatable to them and the, the world in which they live and so they find that really interesting. But there's a lot of learning to do. There's a lot of um, concepts to learn, definitions to learn um, and just a lot of theory in general. So a lot of students will find this difficult and they'll find that um, perhaps they had a misconception coming in that biology would be easy. You see the second student there is actually actually finds chemistry easier than biology because of the amount of uh, theory because of the size of the course. It's important to look at achievements too. Where do uh, the grades fall? So you can see there's a huge spread among H2, H3, H4 and even H5s there. There's a big spread across the middle um, in terms of um, how students um, get on in the exam. Then looking ahead to careers, what sort of careers can you um, follow having taken biology at Leaving Cert? Well, there's a list of courses there and you'll, um, you, you can probably think of some more in relation to biology and science degrees. You can see that the requirements um, in biology range from a H3 uh, for medicine uh, down to H7 for different subjects, for different uh, careers at, and, and courses at university or, or um, college level. An important thing to note is that biology or a science subject is required for studying science in college. But for certain, uh, certain courses, you don't need to study, you don't need to have studied the Leaving Cert subject in order to do that course um, at college, but for science, it is required. So check any courses. I know it's a, it's a, it can seem 
um, like it's far away, but check any courses that you might want to do um, to see if you need a science subject, to see if you need biology. If there are any questions or if you need any further information, please don't uh, hesitate to contact myself or Miss Schreiner or one of the other biology teachers in school. Thanks for listening.